So um, to date, we've collared 10 lions and six hyenas and uh, put GPS satellite collars on them. So what we can get from this information is where their locations are. It's not uh, immediate information. We get data points sent usually about once per day, sometimes twice per day for the lion collars. But this interface, uh, Inventa, um, allows us to see the previous GPS points of the collared animals. Now, our collars are set um, to different standards for each time of the day. So from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., we get a fix every half an hour. And then from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., it's uh, you know one fit GPS fix every hour. Obviously, they're carnivores, so they're more active at night, so we would like these fine scale locations you know, dur during the time where they're most active. So that's why we have the 30 minute intervals at night. And on this screen, um, each animal has its own color and you're able to go and see uh, where the animal has been for the previous day. And uh, we've talked a lot about monitoring animals for movement so this is a great way to document animals' movement. And from this information, we can learn about different clan and pride ter territories. So where animals hang out um, the most. Um, we can also look at this information for kill site locations. So where they've made a kill, because typically animals, you know, carnivores, lions and hyenas will stay at a carcass site for, you know, one day or up to five days, depending on what they've killed, you know, smaller prey you might get a couple points in a certain location. Some of the larger prey, like elephants, you'll see, or giraffe, or like I said, the large um, herbivores, some of them will stay up to a week, depending on how long it takes to eat. You know, they'll really engorge themselves. So that, you'll get, you'll know it's probably a big kill site because you can see, you know, 20 points at this location for multiple days in a row. So usually every morning, the points come in around seven, so I will get on my computer and I will go and look at the points and see where the animals have been. And also part of the Human Wildlife Conflict Project, it's nice because you can see where the animals have gone outside. As you can see, this yellow line, it's one of the hyenas that left the park for a few hours uh, on the night of November 12th. So, um, like I said, she she left the area, she left, she crossed the fence and then went into this area and then came back into the park.